Welcome to Nashville, guys. I'm Stephen Miller with Vitality Realty here in the Nashville area, and I am about to show you the coolest 17 and a half acre equestrian estate that is ready to go. This is what I think of when I imagine living in Tennessee, and I'm about to show you all of it. I do a video like this every single week, so make sure you're following along. And if you're thinking about moving to the Nashville area, buying, selling, whatever, I am your guy. So let's go take a look. So as soon as you walk into the home, you're gonna see these beautiful dark wood floors throughout. And just to the left, you're gonna walk into this living space, sort of an entertainment area with an oversized fireplace. You've got plenty of built-ins. This is so cozy and warm. It's exactly what I imagine when I think of living in an equestrian estate. Woke up this morning with the sunrise in my eyes. Just like a new day. Breath of fresh air in my life. I love the design of these built-ins along with the grayish color paint that they used. It works so well next to this darker stacked stone in the fireplace. Just gives it a really nice rustic vibe, which totally fits this aesthetic. So this home is actually on three different levels. On this level is all of the bedrooms. You've got a guest bedroom, a second primary suite, an office, and you've got the primary primary suite. You're not even gonna believe it when you see it. The way that they have done the walk-in closet is stunning. Ah, oh, let's go check it out. First time around. One me and one me Forever it's our show I don't know how and don't know why But I'll, I'll be toasting all my life so this is the primary suite, guys. Or to be more specific, this is one half of the walk-in closet of the primary suite. There's so much more to the primary suite. I'm gonna show you guys. Your jaw is gonna to drop to the floor. It's so luxurious and so amazing. I would be spending all of my time, maybe all of my time in the closet. So then you walk across this little hallway and you immediately see this three-sided fireplace, which for me is like a dream to be able to have a fireplace in my bathroom and in my bedroom. You get it all. It's amazing. Here you've got a wet bar, a balcony. This is a dream primary suite. So 
I'm here in the shower right now. I've never filmed in a shower before, but this is too amazing to not point out. There are seven shower heads in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've never seen anything like that before, but this is like my dream shower. I could 100% get used to having a private balcony coming off of my bedroom. So that's pretty much it for this floor, but there's one more floor to go and it's pretty incredible, especially if you like movies. Turns out I lied. There's actually one more bedroom up here, but the best part is right over here. <sighs> I could definitely get used to this. So that's it for the house, but what is an equestrian estate without all the equestrian stuff? Let's go outside and I'll show you guys. I just want to sing Country Road Take Me Home. <laughs> Guys, this is a great horse barn. We've got three full stalls here, a wash rack, even a kitchen, lounging kind of hangout area. This is a great place to take care of your horses. show the garage, but this four car garage seems so unique to me. Not only do we have this really cool black and white checkered tile on the floor, but we have a storm shelter, guys. So that is pretty much it for this exquisite 17 and a half acre equestrian estate. I am obsessed with this place. I have already messaged my in-laws who have horses that they need to buy this place so that we can come visit them all the time, come spend the holidays here. I love it. It's here in Hermitage, Tennessee, and I would love to show it to you if you wanna check it out. I am on all of the social medias. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, or X if you wanna call it that, YouTube, and Facebook, all of it. Would love for you to follow me there as well. Otherwise, I'll see you next week with another video. Bye. For your name's sake, you will lead me back.